Can you show us how people could test a piece of silver oh, on yeah. their own? Just a simple way without any special equipment. Buy your gold and silver online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold or silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. All right, so I'm here at a new coin shop today. This one's called Portland Precious Metals. We're going to go check it out, see what they got. Hey, good morning. Hi, how's it going? Going good. Hey, I'm Silver Dragons. Silver Dragons, Mike. How long have you guys been here? Uh, this location, about three years okay and we used to be on 49th and division for maybe eight years before that oh wow so you've been you've been doing the precious metals thing for a while yeah since 2012. wow okay so you came in right after the peak <laughs> we did yeah it was on its way down yeah actually i think my first box of silver i bought for the shop back then i paid 32 an ounce wow right before, right before it went down to 20 yeah to 18 and you know History tells you the rest. <laughs> I know. Well, hey, I want to see what you got in stock here. Sure. Yeah. So we'll you guys, you got some poured got silver. Some you make this yourself, right? Yeah, that's our brand, Poured Land. Can we check one out? Yeah, here. Wow, look that's at that. Our, that's our logo there, Poured Land. I like that poured stuff. Yeah, yeah, me too. This is a little cast piece he did. Yeah. Little dolphin. I think that's three to four ounces or so. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, so you got I'm that. Get, I'm gonna get Tank here. He's head of security. What's up, Tank? He's vicious. <laughs> Guard dog. You got some treats in your hands. <laughs> uh, so we got some coins here. Looks like you got a really nice selection. Uh, a few eagles down here. Yeah. Are people still buying the eagles, or what's the deal with those? <laughs> eagles at this price, uh, not a lot compared really? to how many we're buying. And generally, when people come in and want eagles, <laughs> yeah. like, sometimes they talk them out of it. Oh, really? Just because it's too, no, too high of a good premium. value right now. I want people to get good value. A lot of people that are coming now, mostly, you know, they watch YouTube videos and depending on who you like to listen to, they're going to tell you, buy Eagles or stay close to Spot or right. buy Numismatic. So everybody has a different opinion. What your opinion is depends, you know, what information you're getting. Yeah, well, yeah. I definitely think buying closer to Spot is the way to do it. Uh, I see you got some rounds. That's probably one of the yeah. cheapest things in the shop yeah yeah rounds are the you know 10 ounce or 100 ounce bars or kilos kilos are pretty good yeah reasonably priced what um, are you what are you guys at for rounds like if i wanted to pick them up today right now four over spot for new ones and i don't know maybe three if they're secondary market wow um, that's an know, incredibly we good deal counter, we can sell them cheaper but we have to pay wholesale right you know, you're limited okay so we just had like a ton of people coming out you're pretty busy mike <laughs> yeah yeah it gets pretty busy in here um comes in waves yeah well, it was interesting because one dude was selling gold and another guy was buying like over 300 ounces of silver it's crazy yeah just in like the course of 10 minutes yeah i mean it can get pretty hectic in here um seems like they i don't know it almost seems like everybody's on the same wavelength and they all kind of pile in at the same time and they're <laughs> totally dead and then they all rush in here usually lunchtime is when yeah well you guys have a lot of uh, really cool gold pieces uh those proof buffaloes look absolutely fantastic have you had yeah. any um have you had any fake gold come into the shop recently or? Yeah, uh, a week or two ago, we had a fake gold bar come in. Really? It wasn't that great of a fake. It was, we could tell just by looking at it, it was extra thick. Yeah. I think it was a Perth. Mm, okay. A um, few months ago, we had some, some of the nice tungsten gold eagles come in. Really? Yeah, but uh, my employee spotted them right away. Right away, you know, they yeah. came in the capsules. The guy was a little weird when he came in. Oh, he maybe but knew. Actually, it only seemed weird looking back after we knew they were fake, the way he was acting. But he actually got busted. He sold some down to a place in Salem. About three times they bought these fakes. Wow. Mike spotted them right away, just, wow. from, just from looking. But they were the good fakes. They weighed good. Measurements were maybe a millimeter off, so really close. Um, no sound when you flip it at really? all. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, and actually I did an interview with Secret Service because the guys in Salem knew who he was. Okay. So, yeah. They had all his info and they bought from him like three times. Hopefully they didn't resell him. Right. 
but you know, whoever the employee just didn't do their due diligence, I guess. That's crazy. So, well, there's so yeah. many fakes out there. We've been seeing all these yeah. fake silver eagles. I made a few videos on yeah. them. Somebody brought, uh, I think I saw your video, was that a week or two ago? Yeah, yeah. Somebody brought, I think, some of those exact fakes in the other day. They had the missing reed. Yeah. But they were a little too thick. Mm hmm. But, I mean, I, I could spot them right away. Yeah. They're not. A real eagle, when you hold them in your hand and you touch them and you feel them, a you fake, know a fake's gonna stand out. When you've been doing it for over a decade, I mean, yeah, I mean, you can tell. Just gonna stand out, especially you know if you have something that comes in a capsule or graded or maybe a bar that comes in the package. You can't actually touch it and feel it, right? Because you know, gold and silver are elements; they're metals. You can't actually fake the metal. You can fake the design, but you can't fake the metal. Right. Exactly. So. Um, in my opinion, a fake is really only has to be good enough until your money's in their hand and then you go home and you look a little more. People do that all the time. They call us. Oh, can you come? Actually, that's what happened with those ones that came in last week. Mm. The guy called me. Hey, can you test these? He got them for about 30 each on eBay. And spot was 25 or 6 Oh, I So see. I knew right away. But when he brought them in, he brought them in a silver round tube. I knew right away. Mm. Eagles don't fit in those tubes. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I could tell just from that. I didn't even see the coins, and I already knew they were fake. Wow. Um, and the price he paid. Too so, low, obviously. Why? I, I, I'll, I'll pay you more than that. <laughs> with the spot where it was, I would have paid him more. So why yeah. would you? Nobody's going to sell them for that price. So with those fake uh, tungsten gold eagles, I've never seen them before. Um, you just... You, you actually talked to the Secret Service about that? I mean, that's that's pretty big yeah. deal. Yeah, well, the guys in Salem asked me to because they okay. needed it. Evidence for the, you know, so they can file whatever. So it's counterfeit. It's yeah, currency. counterfeit currency. Uh, Do you have any uh, fake coins that we could look at that you've seen come in the shop over the years? Or? Yeah, I collect them. Yeah. Really? Yeah, we've got a good amount. Um, got a little collection? Yeah, yeah, 1921 piece dollar. You can tell just by the sound it makes there. Yeah. And actually. You can hear it. I think I have a 1921 or two down here. I thought I did. Oh, yeah. A real one? There we go. That's a 27. That's a pretty good fake. There it is. It's not bad. Uh, if I had to guess, it doesn't weigh. But here's a real 1921. Yeah, it'd be interesting to compare the sound. <laughs> yeah, it sounds a lot heavier. Let me get my scale. If you've ever handled silver dollars before. Right then you're familiar with that sound. Let's see how many grams. 22.9, 23. Yeah. There you go. It's spot on and it's high grade, so it's not, uh, you know, shouldn't be missing any, right. any metal. Yeah, no wear. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. So yeah, yeah, people bring in fake coins and all yeah. sorts of stuff, huh? You know, I think a lot of the people trying to sell fakes that know they're fakes, maybe they try the dealers here and there, but the dealers are the ones that know what they're talking about. Right. So they're going to sell them on Craigslist or online. Facebook, whatever. We had a guy come in a few years back where, well, his friend told us about it. His friend bought here, but he was trying to save on the premium. Bought yeah. like 20 ounces of gold on Craigslist. Oh, no. Totally fake. Oh, no. So... You tried saving, what do we make, 30, 40 bucks on an ounce of gold for yeah. a bar? What did he save? Nothing. He lost 40 grand. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, just trying to save from the dealer making a few bucks, which, you know, I mean, I guess it is what it is, but it's an expensive lesson. Yeah. Uh, do you have any of those fake uh, um, bars, those fake silver bars? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was doing. Yeah, we got uh, a whole bunch of stuff here. Oh, look at this. A nice selection of fake eagles. Yeah, I've seen these in the capsule. We've got some, you know, some type coins here, some organs. Wow, look at that. Yeah. These, so these are just a bunch this of fakes. This is wow. a decent fake. I, actually, I think that one's magnetic. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's the right shape for a silver bar. Here's a... Uh, but you can also tell by the sound. Atmix. Packaging is... Wow, look at that. Yeah. Fake Atmex bar. Yeah, the packaging on that's pretty much spot on, um, but it doesn't test on the Sigma. Yeah. Where'd those bars go? Somebody brought us some of those before the Mint even released them. Really? 
Yeah. The yeah. fakes were out before the real ones were out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's kind of a dead right. giveaway, right? Yeah, yeah. I knew. <laughs> I didn't even have to test them. I mean, they're not. These aren't really good fakes. I can't say I've seen a really good fake eagle. Yeah. If you've handled silver eagles, then yeah, they're pretty obvious. There's a fake sunshine. Now that one. Wow, look at that. That one is actually fairly decent because it weighs right. It or, does? Or at least pretty, pretty close. Here, throw it on there. Yeah, let's see what the weight is on this. So it should be 31.1. Look at that, a just a hair over. But that's that's acceptable. Yeah. They're not gonna be spot on, that one is. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Well, the problem with that is, that's the shape that this bar should be. See the, the Sunshines and the Silver Towns. Most, I mean, there are some bars that are this shape, but most of the bars, real silver bars, are gonna have the more rounded corners like that and be this shape. Right. But whereas this one, that's not the shape for a Sunshine. It's more square. Bar. So you yeah, can just tell by square. the shape. The shape, you know, when I'll get something like this in, let me see if I can find it. What I did was I, yeah, see, I, I took a chunk out of it. I don't know oh, if you yeah. can see that. Yeah, Excuse my finger there. here. You see that, the, yeah, you can see the zinc right there. That's crazy. Yeah. Yep, fails the Sigma. Yeah. Well, there you go. But these don't, these actually, they don't pass the magnet test or yeah they're not very good so what's the best way for people to avoid buying fake silver and fake gold what do they need to do buy from a reputable dealer learn the physical properties of the metal you're buying because they're like i said they're metal yeah you're faking the design but you're not faking the metal once again we had to pause because there's too many people coming in and yeah. out of the shop can you show us how people could test a piece of silver oh, on yeah. their own a kind sure. of easy uh just a simple way without any special equipment first thing is the magnet okay so the rare earth magnet has a certain reaction to silver and copper which will cause it to it's like a oh wow like a little force field that causes it to slide down really slow yeah see it's really hard to shake off oh yeah wow. so copper and silver will both have these properties right yeah if someone has a copper fake and it's plated in silver exactly it'll act that same way yeah see this one no silver in it slides right off oh shake yeah it right off where this one hard to shake so this one is not copper or silver no it's probably zinc or some kind of base metal okay so slides right off so okay now you got two equally sized rounds mm -hmm. one's copper one's silver about the same size right yeah they both are reacting to the magnet. Mm -hmm. Now, how now do we tell them silver, apart? Is 31.1 grams exactly. Yep. But this ounce of copper is only 28.9. Mm. So if you, and it's still even a little thicker already. Yeah. So if this were to be copper plated in silver and it passes the magnet because it's copper, and it weighs 31.1 .1, like silver should, mm -hmm. it's gonna be too thick. So, okay, so the so thickness. So you'll notice it visually by the thickness. See, they're about the same size roughly. Now, 39 millimeters, um, they both pass the magnet test. If it doesn't pass the magnet test, you're done testing. It's not right. silver. But if it passes the magnet test, it's one of these two. And if they're the same size, and most products you can look on the internet to find the size. So if this weighed 31.1 and was plated in silver, it's gonna be too thick. Right. If it's the right size and plated in silver, it's not gonna weigh. It can't be all of these things. It's gonna be, you can maybe get two out of the three things, the weight, the magnet, and the dimensions, but you're not gonna get all three because it would have to be silver. But also fourth thing, so you got scale, magnet, and dimensions yeah. but also copper let's say it passes most of those or maybe you're you can't tell the thickness or the fourth thing would be the sound and i'm not sure if the microphone will pick it up copper is a much higher register for the sound where silver oh i a, can totally a lower hear that. pitch much fuller sound yeah so so the sound could be another test you can easily yeah, do four things right there yeah so if it if it has all of the dimensions the weight passes the magnet but it's copper
copper just has a totally different sound. Yeah. Whereas silver, this is a, you know, generic silver round. Let me take a Buffalo. These have the exact same sound. They were minted in different places at different times by different companies. They both sound exactly the same because they're the same dimensions and weight and size of pure silver or 999. Well, that's some great tips right there. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are going to wonder what you did to your finger. So maybe you should let us know some in the video. Some people on our YouTube channel, uh, we have a YouTube channel, uh, Portland Precious Metals. Um, some of the commenters like to say, don't cut yourself again. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, actually, I, I slammed my safe door on the finger there. As bad as it sounds, but it's getting better. Oh, well, that's good to hear. It's improving. Yeah, I cover it to save your your eyes from being offended. You know? <laughs> well, uh, you know what? We'll put a link to your uh, YouTube channel. If people sure. want to check you guys out, we'll sure. put a link down below in the description. Do you guys have like uh, something with your uh, information on that we could show people? Uh, sure, or? yeah. Giving out too many cards just because business is crazy. But Yeah, we just haven't had enough time. My sister's supposed to be designing me a <laughs> card, but you know. Thanks yeah. for your time. And well, hey, I really appreciate it. Thank yeah, you so much. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, you've got a great looking shop. Appreciate um, it. A yep. lot of stuff in stock, so hopefully people will come check you guys out. Thanks. Yeah, PortlandPreciousMetals.com. We got to say goodbye to, was it Tank? Tank. Bye, Tank. Take care. Thanks. Yep, thanks. thanks.